Vanar versus Vanar versus Magmar. We're going first. Alright, uh, let's replace Polarity. Everything else seems pretty fine, actually. And we got Aspen. So this is fine, I just need like a uh, Circlus or some sort of other minion other than the Mount of Forger so I can synergize with the spells. Maybe I can replace something, but even then, let's play forward and do a Mount of Forger. Back here and one direction, just in case if the opponent plays like a Saber Spine. We get an Albi Sage, which I mean, in theory, if I played the Mana Forge right there, I probably could have played it. But even then, uh, yeah, I'll just take it as I go. And a Grow. Well, that's a thing I have to get rid of. Uh, what I'll do is. Oh, just Aspect of the Fox, that. Move forward, attack it for two, and then mana death grip it. So I get an extra mana, and then we can do things next turn and wind our turn. So we can do like an Albi Sage, Warbird, and Flash Freeze. Alright, what would the opponent play? Is this a grow? Oh, it's a draw deck. So, Decimus, I need to come out of cold that. So, we have 5 mana and possibly 6, so we'll just grab that. And then we can move this for. No, let's not move this for, just in case of frenzy. We'll just play an Albi Sage right here. And then we have 2 mana, 1 which we can come out of cold to Decimus, so this is just a 4 2 thing that doesn't hurt me when I draw. And then we can do our Bloodborne spell to do 2 damage to the general and buff these things up even more. So, the Mana Forgers can still be killed with a Natural Selection or a Plasma Storm, but the LB Sage, not so much. I mean, it still can be Egg Morphed or uh, Thumping Wave, but hopefully it won't come to that. So, we'll end our turn. Then we got Aspect of the Fox and Flash Freeze. We also got a Heart Sister. I might... Uh, oh, Dream Kazer. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna replace the Heart Sister, see what I can get. So that's a 4-2, and that's an Azure Horn Shaman, so if it dies, it gets plus 4 health to things, and a Maloki Huntress. So I need an Aspect of the Fox that Maloki Huntress, pretty bad, or pretty fast, um, or I can kill that. So I can do, uh eh. just gonna move back, that's what I'm gonna do. And then we can just do a Heart Sister to the Azure Horn Shaman. And then we can just Aspect of the Fox to Maloki Hunter so it doesn't grow. So it's like a grow Decimus hybrid, I think. Anyways, we can just kill this Azure Orange Shaman. It's not going to give 4 health to anything because there's no enemy minions around it. Or friendly minions to the general, but... Uh, yeah. We can Flash Freeze something. I think... Uh, uh, let's just keep it as is. We'll, we'll, we'll save this for something later. We got a Mana Death Grip, which we can use on the Dream Gazer. However, our hand's kind of looking thin. Hopefully, I can draw like a blue conjurer or uh, even a circus at this point. But I don't know. I'll make do. But the opponent does have more cards and another Decimus. So, a lot of cards are going to be drawn. <laughs> Which is a good thing because we can have answers for the Decimus. Just, I just hope we don't die. Then we get two flash freezes. So I'm going to replace one. So hopefully it's not too bad. Well, I guess the opponent can't play more card drawing spells, so hopefully I need I need to get rid of the Desmus right now. The Zix. That's a thing. 
This this is like Swarm, Grow, Decimus, I don't know. We'll, we'll replace Flash Freeze. I got a Chromatic Cold, so we can just do that to the Decimus. Alright, so we can just go up here and then attack the Zix. We can also attack this Zix. Then we have six mana left, we can just do a Warbird into a mana death grip onto the Dream Gazer. And then we'll just stun the Fox Ravager. And I'll end my turn. I can't really, I mean, I can move this forward, but uh, we'll end our turn. And we got a Trinity Wing, yay! Hard draw, three spells. So I'm in the lead health wise. The opponent does have a nice board, but it's kind of in the back and can't reach me this turn, so. I'm gonna play Trinity Wing and replace a spell. Hopefully, that will do something. Hopefully, it's not another Decimus because I already dispelled two of them. A spell jammer! I'm fine with that. I am totally fine with a spell jammer. And thanks for the card draw. Alright, a Circulus. And, oh, God Hammer. That's not good. And another Zix. Well, that's a thing. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's just go back. And then... Go back here. And then we can use the Trinity Wing as a blocker. We have four mana left and some spells. We're going to replace the thing that gives me an attack, just so I can get more answers. We got a blue conjurer, which is nice because we can get uh, an Arcanist to turn now because of our platform spell. So with our four mana, we'll just play a Circlus here into, I guess, two damage to, I guess, two damage to the Decimus. No, two damage to the opponent, I think, because. Uh, the girls just won a turn, so that shouldn't be too bad this turn, but I don't know. Then we'll just heal. We'll heal ourselves. Uh, get rid of that reminder text. We'll uh, play an illusion first, and we'll heal ourselves. Then we can end our turn. And yeah, the next turn we can just do a blue conjurer, or even a frostburn, because they're all threes, except for the spell jammer. I can just do a frostburn and just wipe most of the board. Assuming he doesn't grow next turn with the, like the Maloki Hunters, which is which is a very plausible thing with four cards. I mean, now I can kill the spell jammer with the Frostburn. The last reincarnation, probably War Beast. Oh, a Lava Slasher, okay. That's no good. The opponent has... 5 mana left. Gonna flash in something, or what? A Grow. Okay. Like, this whole... Oh, and a Maloki Hunters, that's not good. Uh, like I said, a Maloki Hunters will just wreck me, but... Uh, let's do a Frostburn. Actually. Let's do... What can we do? We need to kill the Maloki Hunters, that's what I need to do, but... Eh, we'll just do a Frostburn first. And I'm not gonna play the Blue Conjurer yet, because that's kind of too much. So... Let's see... Let's play a thing here. Or we'll kill that thing. We'll play a Prismatic Illusionist here, into a Frostburn. And that will kill at least some things. Alright, we have two mana, let's just do a thing here, then we can uh, do a Warbird, like so. And then we can at least use the Mana Florida to kill the Decimus, and that's the only thing I can reach aside from the grow. So with that being said, we'll end our turn. Everything's gonna grow, and everything's gonna be annoying to deal with.
I mean, next turn I can deal. I can kill the Malokian Huntress. It's just a matter of trying to do something else besides uh, focusing on the Malokian Huntress. I don't know. A secret high card draw. Like the opponent does only have three cards right now, which, uh, and we got a ooh, we got a frigid Krona. So we can use that to get more cards. I have to get rid of the Moloki Huntress, which I'll do with the Heart Sister, and then the Alpha Sage will just kill it. So I'm fine with that. So we'll see what happens with what the opponent plays with eight mana. A Dream Gazer, so it's not a Juggernaut, so I'm fine with that. All right, we have nine mana. Let's replace the Illusion. Now we got a Trinity Wing, but first and foremost, we'll just do a Heart Sister, and then swap out for the Moloki to kill that. Don't need it. I don't. I don't want the Moloki Huntress anymore. So, and then we can just. Uh, what can we do? We'll kill this thing uh, first and foremost. All right, we have spells. Uh, let's just move this over here. We'll play a blue conjurer here, I guess. So we have two, uh, three mana left. We can do one to stun the. Hmm. We can do stun the grow. So that's going to be annoying to deal with, I think. Then everything will grow even more. And then we get illusion, a Chakri avatar, and an embla. Embla is okay, given the circumstances. With two mana left, we can just play an illusion. Uh, let's do an illusion. Here. All right, was it? Oh, I probably, I probably was supposed to play a Trinity Wing. Oh well. Oops. Now we can just do an illusion there into a Bloodborne spell to get rid of the grow. So nothing will grow anymore uh, for this turn, anyways. Then we have things. We're gonna mill a card, and we're gonna mill a Trinity Wing. I'm fine with that. We can get that back with the Blue Conjurer. <laughs> So I think unless if the opponent heals, he has on a, he is on a five turn clock. Uh, but I am bunkered really well right here, and the the grill is just frozen. A vindicator. Whenever your opponent draws a card, this gains plus two. So yeah, I, I'm gonna mill. That's fine. This is a three five. I milled out a circulus. That's fine. Alright, what will the opponent do? Like, three cards, five mana? There's some answers, but I don't know if it's the right answers. <laughs> I don't know why you attacked the Mana Forger, too, compared to other things. A Shiro. And an Adra. So we can do three, we can do eight. Ooh, we have Lethal. I like this. So, yeah, we have Lethal for sure. All we have to do is just do 3 damage to bring it down to 7. And then we can just do a Calligrapher here. And it has Rush and it does 3 damage. Then we can just do 5 more with the, the Illusion and the Calligrapher. So that'll bring him down to 2. And we can just do our Bloodborne spell. Or, uh, if I click right, we can do our Bloodborne spell. Wow, that was an intense match. Like, there was a lot of growing happening, a lot of things happening, and yeah, luckily we won that. That was a pretty intense game. Pretty good game. So, yeah, that was that was pretty cool. Um, like, the, the opponent was doing Decimus and Grow, and then, uh, like, playing God Hammer to buff up the Zixes and all the small things with the Maloki Hunters, which was annoying, but we dealt with it, and uh, we eventually won it. So, that was pretty fun. And we dispelled all the decimuses when we needed to, so that was pretty good too. So yeah, that was a good game. 